Um, okay, hello Brad. Hello. How are you? Okay, thanks, how are you? Uh, not too bad, thank you. Good. We're here. Yes. It's it's the, uh, the the only road I know EP launch Gosh, here at the Bodega. How are you feeling? Mad. Excited, like really, really excited. I can't wait for it. I think it's been like three months in the planning and like sort of like months in the making of recording and stuff and writing the tracks to be like here tonight. It's just mm-hmm. wicked. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be really exciting. What what was the process like getting somewhere to, to play it? So obviously we're here at the Bodega in Nottingham. What yeah. what was it like kind of getting the Bodega? Well, it was sort of, it was dead easy. It was sort of like I, I asked and was like, look, do you mind if we do the EP release at the Bodega? And it was sort of like set up in a couple of weeks, really. Like just like sort of slow emailing from me because I was busy trying to organise other stuff. Mm. But yeah, dead easy to sort of work with the Bodega. They're great to work with. Yeah, so it's really cool. One of my favourite venues in Nottingham, right. definitely. Yeah. Now, it's, it's a kind of theme that um, are cropping up in a lot of my interviews at the moment, but it's festival season. It's, well, it's not festival yeah. season, but it's the announcement yeah, season, yeah, you know, where, where loads of people are being announced yeah. for festivals. Have you got stuff on the cards coming up? And yeah, yeah, obviously, we, you did Splendour last year, so, yeah, so what's going on? Well, we've got, we've got, well, what the plan is, is to like sort of back off the festivals a little bit this year, play, play as many as we can, like possibly can, but I want, I want more time to write, write songs and to, to write for the rest of the album and possibly start writing for a second album already. So sort of got a solid group of songs in the pipeline to go, right, we can release this, and then next year we can release another album, almost like to follow it up straight after. So that's sort of the plan. But nothing nothing I can announce yet. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> you you <laughs> keep, keeping us waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've obviously got, like, the some that we got last year, you know, we're doing, like, a small festival called Tiddly Fest, which is only 350 capacity, I think. It might be 500. I'm not sure, but that's going to be really lovely. That's somewhere down south. And then we've got... Um, oh, we've got loads of festivals. I can't remember what they are at the minute, though. <laughs> but I'm like, so, like, yeah, I can't remember what they are. But we've, got, we've got probably got a good 10, 15 festivals already that have come in and a few more that are going to be announced soon. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's all exciting. Now um, I know uh, I know you probably can't say, but obviously as I, as I mentioned a minute ago, you did play, you, you headlined the Splendour yeah, Acoustic yeah. Room stage. Have they have they, yeah. have they have spoken to you yet? Have they said well, anything? No, no, not really. I've sort of, I'm not sure. I think we will just have to see how tonight goes. I think and like see what happens and see what comes off the back of it. Something might happen, something might not. I don't know yet. It's sort of yeah, all up in the air at the minute. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Do you kind of feel like this could be the the first day of the rest of your life? You know, obviously it's it's, it's, it's your first kind of big EP launch in in Nottingham, which is a major city. It's got a great music scene. Do you, do you kind of feel like this could propel you into things that you maybe couldn't have done if this hadn't had happened? I think so because it's like I've been doing this now for like six years, and um, basically I think to to actually have some some format of something to release. Is, is just fantastic. I think now I've got something out there that's solid. It's going to make it a lot more, I think, going to make everything, well, just make the music a lot more accessible, make it easier to find, make it easier for people to find me and the band and stuff and, and all of that. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. Pretty exciting stuff. And you, say, you say accessible. What, what does that mean? Because, I mean... You, you know, you've, you've got root, kind of roots in, in music yeah. that, that aren't particularly chart you, you know you don't really see them in the charts it's not pop music you know so so what what do you mean by accessible do you mean that you'd like to reach other audiences or? it'd be easy, easier for people to find yeah like, like i think especially with what i'm writing about at the minute and stuff it's like it's just it's politically motivated but it's about finding a better place for you so if you're stuck somewhere you've got to work out how to get out of it it's hard it's not always that easy but you've got to work out how to get out of it and i think sort of it's just happy music it's music about being free like music for a movement I think some, sometimes but I don't I'm not sure like yeah more accessible easier to find mm. and like like get a footprint out and stuff and online footprint and that and yeah easier for festivals to go oh we like him yeah so we'll book him sort of thing so yeah which is yeah it's going to be so exciting I can't wait it's just so good and so, so um, let, let's talk about how, how um, sales have gone for this kind of show. We yeah. spoke about it briefly before the yeah. interview. You've done really well. Yeah, You've yeah. done really well with, with yeah. sales. How, how does that feel that so many people have kind of brought, bought tickets and you still might sell some tonight? Yeah, you know, yeah, this is, at time of recording, you've only yeah. sold so many. Yeah. How does it feel that so many people have purchased tickets? Amazing. It's just it's nuts. It's like my first headline gig ever in Nottingham that's been ticketed. And to do... To do the amount of tickets we've done is just incredible. I couldn't, I just can't believe it, you know. And this sort of like marks the night of 
Brad Deer having his band and coming out with a band and wanting to be a band more of like more than a solo artist and have that that drive behind it. So selling so many tickets and like doing the night, it's just unbelievable. I can't I can't quite believe it. It's just yeah, it's so good. It's like sort of I've I haven't had time until yesterday to sit back and really think about it because I've been so busy working on promoting it and getting everything ready to go that like when I sat down last night and thought about it, I was like wow. I was like, wow, it's mad. I couldn't can't believe it. Absolutely nuts. So, yeah, so I think hope, hopefully we'll sell it out tonight, but we'll have to see what happens. Yeah. So. Now, one final question, and uh, it's a theme that runs throughout most of the interviews I do musically. Um, one musician that is the sort of the pinnacle of, of everything, you know, that, that's kind of the musician for you as, as, and inspires you as a person, as a musician, and, and makes you want to carry on what you're doing. Yeah, oh, it's tough. I mean, there's so many people who, who I'm influenced by and so many different styles of music that I try to, inc I, don't, I know it's folk rock, but I try to incorporate different feelings and different vibes and energies into the music and stuff. And probably for someone who's like so dynamically clear and like unbelievable for what is actually done, like not my idol, but like well, always after it is like Charlie Simpson from from Busted because he's got Busted Fight Star and a solo project and he's like doing really well done really well with all of them so he's like quite a successful guy but in, inspiration wise it probably probably have to be Bob Dylan yeah like listen to him for, from being probably like six seven years old yeah and it's sort of the way he writes is the way he writes music and the way he writes lyrics and the way he writes his poetry is just so I don't know it's thought out but it's you can tell he's written it at that moment and it's like it's just there. It is what it is. It's it's a feeling. So it's like yeah, that's probably yeah. Bob did it. Yeah. Brad dear, it's been lovely to chat to yeah, you here today at the Bodega. Thank you very yes, much. Yes. No. Thank you, dude. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Take care. Bro.